I am uh, park ranger Matthew Eiffel here at Independence National Historical Park in Philadelphia and we are in Independence Hall in the assembly room and we are in a building that is built in the 1730s so about 40 years before there is any such thing as the United States of America starting in May of 1787 what we today call the Constitutional Convention they're going to sit in this same room and address these issues plaguing the young United States. It's going to start with um, about 11 states. New Hampshire will show up late. Unfortunately, Rhode Island will never attend these meetings. Now, these are guys who are definitely trying to engineer something because they know something needs to be done to hold these states together. They know as separate entities, you know, you go back to Benjamin Franklin's design, uh, the snake cut in pieces that Benjamin Franklin had put together during the French and Indian War when he's calling for this union, join or die. A snake cut into pieces is going to die, but a snake together is dangerous. And that's this idea that a lot of these men are embracing that summer of 1787. But the question that they'll face in this room is, what exactly is it that we want? So you're going to have Benjamin Franklin come in the very last day of meetings. Now Franklin is 81 that summer. There are days that he's literally being carried in and out of these meetings. He can hardly walk. Uh, one of the great stories that comes afterwards is he is supposedly asked uh, what kind of a government they've created here in Philadelphia. And he would say, it's a republic if you can keep it, his last warning to the rest of us to, to make sure. But, but think about the United States. One of the things I, I like to, to finish with is this idea that we're still using that same constitution. We're still using that same government. But it's also allowed us, maybe not quickly, but it's definitely allowed us to improve because ultimately slavery in the United States doesn't really end by the Civil War. Technically, it's the Constitution, 13th Amendment. The 15th Amendment will give equality in voting uh, by color. Uh, the 19th Amendment would give equality in voting by gender. So through the years, and again, maybe slowly, we have faced every issue that came up and our Constitution has allowed us to solve things and continue to move forward. And so this little humble room is really everything that the United States has been and, and will be is going to grow from the events that happen over about a 10 or 11 year period in this room. And it's kind of amazing when you think of this humble place and the men that sat here and the things they did, uh, it, it's, really, it's really incredible the things that have grown from this space.